It's a healthcare expedition organized by the Remote Area Medical Volunteer Corps. More than a thousand doctors, technicians, and volunteers gather here to supply health care to anyone who shows up. No questions asked. Mother of six, Vicki Carlson, is in pain from broken wisdom teeth. The price of having her local dentist pull them is just too much. That's the difference whether you pay your electric bill or feed your kids for a month. Uh, $100 is a lot of money. Doctors like Ben Sherwin lead familiar offices and pay their own way here to set up and help dozens of patients free of charge. A donation that brings back its own reward. To do something that we don't get a chance to do very often, and that's just do dentistry without having to worry about any of the overhead, any of the staff, you know, trying to worry about any of those things, and do something for people who really need it, and that's the important part of this. Dr. Brian Lantman comes all the way from Chattanooga to set up in a converted barn and provide eye exams. I've been here three years, and not one person's ever complained about waiting. They're just, they're happy to be here and happy that they can get some health care. He says even during the short visits, there's a special connection with the patients that you rarely find in a traditional practice. I had a little girl that I saw, she was uh, about six years old, and uh, she, needed, uh, she needed some glasses, never had any. And so uh, I did the exam on her, and uh, we got her a pair of glasses made, and the next day she brought me a, a batch of homemade chocolate chip cookies. While dental and eye care make up a large percentage of the services, there are also skin and hearing specialists on hand. In the United States, we have the finest health care in the world, the finest health care technology. But it's a privilege of the well-insured and the well-to-do. And so for 47, 50 million Americans, they can't enjoy that privilege, unfortunately. When one of those less privileged millions can get access, the results open your eyes and your heart. Remember Vicki, the mother of six with broken wisdom teeth? After the operation, we found her in tears. Tears of joy. And I'm not in any pain, but I'm happy. Next time, a look at some of the volunteers. In high definition from Wise County, Virginia, I'm Ace Aarons, Boom HD News.